Do you think that you need 10,000 followers minimum to get some PR? If you thought that, guess what? You do not have to. Today I'm going to share with you some of the things that I have received as a small influencer. Micro, tiny influencer, I guess you'd say, content creator. Um, I never know about PR hauls, if people like them or not, so let me know. Do you like them? Do you not? I don't know if I'll keep doing them or not. But first up, we have some mask. I have some skincare and makeup items, just as an FYI. So this one, I am not sure how to say it. That is the brand name. And this is definitely needed. All of this. We have a bubble peeling body pad. Very good oxygen care. There's five of these and these are all K-Beauty. This is to be used in the shower. So obviously I will not be doing a demo of this, but I guess maybe I could do it on my arm or something to show you guys. We have a foot mask extra silky. I think I would be embarrassed to show you the before pictures of my feet, but definitely, definitely I've been wanting to try one of those kind of feet masks. We have a hand mask extra silky. And then this is a floral hand mask. So I'm excited. Let me know what you think of these, if you've ever tried anything like this or from this brand. And Super Goop, yay! I don't wanna show you the top because my shipping label is on there. But we have, this is says what's in the packaging and it says it's clean, reef friendly, derm tested super power. And here is what the box looks like. Mineral sheer screen. Here is the everyday lotion with sunflower extract. And the unseen sunscreen. I don't think I've ever tried any of their products. And this looks really interesting. This is glow stick with SPF 50. So thank you to Supergoop. Item. I did get a little bit ago and I have tried it already once, but I still wanted to mention it in the video and kind of get your guys' feedback if you want to hear more about it. From Nail, Nail OG or Nail Log. And what it is, is I love the little nail strips, but this one is a little different because you actually use like the UV lamps that you use for gel you use it with the gel strip or with these strips. So I think and two that I like about this so far is this is what I've used the color so far, but the nail strips that I have on right now, this is a combination of color street and rarity nails. So just kind of a combination, but a lot of times with those, like when you, you peel back the whole like plastic thing. So once you open it, they're always exposed to air. So then, you know, like the, the ones that you don't use upright then, they don't stick as well the next time you use them. Well, these, instead of having one protective sheet, look at, they have like individual, the protective sheet is individual for each nail. So I think that's it's really cool. And when they first reached out and asked if I wanted to try them, I was a little hesitant only because of the UV light because, you know, I've wondered like, what do these do to your hands? Like as far as wrinkles, but the thing that I was like, okay, it comes with these gloves. So you put this on and then that way, like when you do under the light, you know, you're really only getting, I mean, you're getting a little bit of your fingers, but not so much of your skin. So yeah, thank you. And I did get to pick out three different colors, nail strips. So yay, excited to try these some more and to see like with having them individually protected like that, if they last longer. And this is some eyeshadow from Earth Tones Minerals. I had never heard of them. I found them on Instagram. And so, I will read this some more later. And, but it's uh, tips and tricks about 
putting on a professional grade mineral makeup and then I was able to pick out some colors that I wanted and then they gave little um, you know samples and or, so they did the little cards with the little Ziploc bags of some of the product so I am going to see if I have a little container to empty or almost emptied um, I don't know if I have any bare minerals that I can clean out but and try to put them in there I think it'll be easier to try them out and this just came yesterday this is BioT skincare and look at how nice the packaging is all right to avoid the noise I did go ahead and take everything out of the box cute little bag here it feels kind of like a linen and then we have oh good these are like the remove or the reuse these are the reusable they look like the makeup wipes I really like the elf cloud ones so this will be nice to compare three in one cleansing milk and again I have not tried anything from this brand I would love to know below if you've heard of this brand or if you have tried anything then we have a universal cream face and neck Ugh, day and night I say because I have got to get better about using my skincare on my neck my neck and hands I've kind of been lax on those two areas eye serum lip balm yes can always use a lip balm especially here in the midwest and i like how it looks like it has that um you know that you push it up and down to get more product and then we also have the facial scrub nice okay excited to try all this stuff out and this is not like brand new just received but i also did want to mention this this was through Akli Izzy Mascara. It's a zero waste mascara. And this is pretty weighty, but it's not made of plastic, looks like. So that's pretty cool. And it came in this, like this is the packing, packaging. Like this is how it came. So my shipping label and stuff was in here. And then look at, you can, open it and then this could be like for makeup brushes or pens and pencils and they're this is made in the u.s and they're trying to like cut down on their carbon footprint and it's kind of like you can do um sign up to always have it shipped out to you and get a recycled one i mean obviously they clean it and stuff but it just sounds like an interesting story behind that so um, i've tried it out a couple times but very interested to try some more and then this just came pixie the other items just to kind of give you an insight into how all this kind of works i mean from what i know i have limited knowledge but the other things that i've mentioned so far and shown you so far today those brands i talked to um, through instagram dms or emails now pixie they have on their website where you can sign up apply to be on their PR list. And it took me a couple tries, but I finally got approved. And for Pixie, they just send PR out. So they send packages. I don't get everything. Like what I see on Instagram, you know, some things that people get, um, but I do get some and they never let you know when it's coming. So it just arrives and I'm always excited when it arrives. That, as you can tell, I like pink. <laughs> I like pink. Okay, so we have, this is Pixie Color Treats, a perfect blend of skincare plus color. What do we have? This is an essence oil, and it says it is infused with rose water, rose oil, and ceramides. So you can put it, prep, use it to prep your skin under makeup or on top of your makeup for she says when you need a nourishing boost very pretty yeah i can smell the rose very pretty though that was a little bit of struggle to get them out of the packaging but i succeeded <laughs> we have the glowy powder Ooh, i can't don't smell anything with that that looks really pretty a mineral rich powder it's infused with rose extract next is a lip nourisher there might be a, a 
very, very, very slight scent. I, I'm not really smelling it too much, but look at that. And this is in, it has hint, this has rosehip oil and vitamin E. Yeah, it's just a really soft, soft hint of a scent. And then this is the Radiance Perfector. I don't smell anything now, so I will, like I said, I'll update you how many times can I say that, but the only thing right off that I notice the scent with is the essence oil. So thank you, everyone. I am so excited. And thank you, my audience, because without you, I wouldn't get any of this. So I'm very excited to try this out. And please, 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 please let me know down below what you think. Like, I, I don't want to be like obnoxious with PR hauls or like I'm bragging or anything like that. But I know I'm always interested to see what brands work with smaller influencers, like how does it work and what do they get, kind of all that stuff. So please let me know in the comments, like what are your thoughts about PR hauls, like for small influencers? And, and actually, what do you think of large influencers? I personally don't really watch any of their PR hauls, just smaller influencers, but let me know. I'd love to know. And a sheer sheen mineral, a mineral sheesh, you can like get reef, you, if you want to, thank you thank so you. much for watching. If you want to see some videos about Pixie, you can click on any of those that are popping up on the screen here. And I hope that you have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever and wherever you are that you're watching this. So thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.